is from um, uh, from the book of Ecclesiastes in the the uh, uh, the Jewish and Christian Bible. Yeah, it, 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 uh, that that line is a famous line. It's a famous quotation, and it comes from um, the uh, the Old Testament of the the Jewish and Christian Bible. So when we say um, vanity, uh, what is it? Um, Everything under the sun is vanity upon vanity. When we say vanity upon vanity, we're meaning um, that's that, that's what we call uh, an old way of saying things. It's not it's not the way we would say things in modern speech. It's the way thing. It's the way writers would have expressed that thought hundreds of years ago. So it's 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 what we call uh, archaic. Archaic meaning very old. So if we say that language like this is archaic, it means that people don't really speak or write that way now, but they did hundreds of years ago. Now, when, when we say vanity upon vanity, what we mean is really, really vain, <laughs> a lot of vanity. Vanity upon vanity is a, is, is a way of expressing the same thought as um, extra vanity. You know, so we say um, everything under the sun is vanity. That is a line, as I say, that is a line from the Bible, the, the, the Christian Bible. And it mean, it comes from the book of Ecclesiastes. And it means that human beings, human beings are too vain. That, that what, we, what we do typically as humans is we are too self-concerned about ourselves and we're not concerned enough about other people. So that's what vanity is. Vanity is, is self-centeredness rather than being other-directed. So um, in, um, in the Christian scriptures, um, there would be uh, uh, encouragement to be humble. Mm -hmm. Just as in um, the precepts of Buddhism, there is encouragement to be humble. Uh, to be humble is to not be so self-centered, you know, not to be thinking about yourself all the time, but to think of other people. Um, and, and so that's, that's what that, that line says, is that uh, it, it, it is a statement that, that says that uh, human beings are too vain. And what they, should, what they should strive to be is less vain, you know, to be more humble. That's the thought that's expressed in that. But it, it is archaic language. <laughs> Which is, a, lot of, a lot of holy scriptures, whether it's, whether it's uh, Islam or Buddhism or, uh, or Judaism or Christianity, a lot of the holy scriptures use archaic language instead of modern language. So when we, when we read the scriptures, we have, we have to, uh, if you're reading like the precepts of Buddha, or if you're reading um, the Gospels uh, in, in the Christian tradition, when you read them, you have to put them into the context of that age, at that point in history. Just like, just like what we're doing with the good earth, when we read the good earth, that story took place over 100 years ago. Um, before the communist revolution, long before the communist revolution. And um, so the traditions of poor farmers in China, they're, you know, we, we, we have to appreciate that it's a different context. So when we read something, we have to know the background, you know, the context of it. And, and that, so when I see that in the context of the greater sentence, I see vanity upon vanity, I know that that means a lot of vanity. Um, and, and what the scripture, what that, what that line is telling the reader is to not be so vain. Don't be so vain. Be more humble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to be... Uh, 
So when it says everything under the sun, everything under the sun is, is vanity, the author of that line is saying that um, people are too, are, are, are too vain. <laughs> yeah. for you today, okay? <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll wait until others get here. Mm -hmm. They're late. Why, why, why is everybody so late today? <laughs> you, don't, you don't want to study. <laughs> Say what I mean. Yeah. Every day, almost I, I come here at about Oh, do you? Uh-huh. Pockmarks. Um, pock, pock marks are when um, you've had a disease like chicken pox, and your your uh, your body or your face has uh, scars on it. So, um, uh, yeah, that would be a, that would that would be a pock mark, uh huh? Or um, a seed like that. That that would be a pock mark. It's a scar, and and it's a scar that comes from a disease like smallpox or chickenpox. Um, and um,
smallpox is a disease. Uh, it's a disease that's not very common now because we have vaccinations. And so when children are very young, oftentimes they go to their doctors and they, they get vaccinations. So uh, in Thailand, you have very good medicine uh, compared to a lot of the rest of the world. And so you would not have children who, who get smallpox when they're young because typically they get vaccinated. But in the old days, you know, like 100 years ago, uh, in China 100 years ago, or even in, in England or, or America 100 years ago, there was no vaccination. So smallpox was a very... How do you spell vaccination? A vaccination? Uh, you know, like a, a shot, you know, that, and, and it keeps you from getting the disease. Did you know how you spell Yeah, vaccination. Vaccination. A vaccination is when you get the shot oh, okay. to keep you from getting a disease. This is a model, um, vaccine. Vaccine is the is the actual medicine that is injected into the system to keep you from getting a disease. So so if. If you, if you need a, a vaccine to keep you from getting a disease, then you would go to the doctor and get a vaccination. Okay? 